All right, Tim, take a look at the RX Weld TIG accessory kit. Okay, so we got three sizes of back caps. We got the short, the middle, and the long. So if you want to run long pieces of tungsten, you can use that. If you want to cut them into smaller pieces, so you got more that are already perfectly ground, you can use that. And if you just need extra space to fit your torch in, you can run real short tungsten, you can use this cap. We have 10 ceramic cups and six Pyrex cups. So this is going to take my basic torch and turn it into a complete torch. Well, we can see this is very clear. And this is a number 12 cup, so you got plenty of size here. So if you want to do your walking the cup, you can do that with this. That's going to make your life a lot easier. And plus that extra gas is going to help to make your welds look a lot cleaner. And we also have these diffusers that we can stick in there to make sure that gas is dispersed more evenly. As for sizes, we have a four. So we have two fours, so that's four sixteenths of an inch, and they are labeled in there for different sizes. We also have two number fives, two number sixes, two number sevens, and two number eights. So on the top corner here, we have our collets. So here we have our collets, and we can see that it is actually written on there one eighth on the top, so we know exactly what that's for. And of course we can see the size of the hole. And then we have our collet bodies. So if you want to use diffusion, you can use this. And if you just want to go straight shot, you can use this. And it's pretty cool. They actually capped off the rear to make sure those threads are going to be untouched. So that's what these different sizes are. Either you can screw on the smaller size onto that body, or we can put the larger size onto this body. Then the collet goes in the back and this will screw onto the rear. And when you tighten all that up, that is going to hold your tungsten in place. And then we got three more bags. So we also got the 1 16th, the 3 seconds, and the 0.04. These are rubber O-rings to make sure that none of that gas escapes. And then the last thing is our two heat shields, depending on what you're going to be using. So yeah, that is a very complete set. I got a new TIG torch and I want to make sure that I got everything that I want for it. If you're just starting a TIG weld, it's usually a good idea to start with something small like this, just because you're going to be using less gas and press. You're not going to have something big like this, putting a lot of gas on that weld and making it look good, even when it's not actually that good. If you can make a weld look good with this, you'll definitely be able to make it look good with this. Once you start advancing your skill, start using these things and you can make some beautiful welds. So yeah, that is an awesome kit.